And it's something that's really important to me as COO of Instagram, but it's also really important to me as a mother, like as a woman, like I really think about this a lot. So one thing we did just a few, um, a few weeks ago is we offered a new tool, which is around comment filtering. And what this does is it allows you to um, filter out words you might not want to see in the comments. And that creates a much more positive experience for the person who is actually telling their story. And what we want people to do is to feel safe to feel like they can express themselves. Because when they feel safe and when they express themselves, they put their story out there, the, the reactions they get are overwhelmingly positive. And that is the way that they can find community of, communities of support. Mm -hmm. Teens are really good about telling their stories really authentically. You see them with these really positive messages. One woman who I love is this uh, young woman named Gigi Crouch, who her account is Scolarina. She has scoliosis, but she's a ballerina. Mm -hmm. And so her message is that if you have a passion and a dream, you can overcome adversity. She posts these photos of her doing these really complicated, beautiful poses. When she decided that she was gonna stop dancing, she also posts on Instagram. And the overwhelming support that she got is what she said helped her feel comfortable with her decision to go to college and stop dancing. So that's an incredible thing. We also just recently launched um, a campaign around, um, it's called hashtag perfectly me. Right. And a number of teens you know, talked about how they have um, taken what would be perceived as a weakness and turned it into a strength and accepted themselves yeah body positivity. So those are the kinds of things that we've really tried to do is to teach people, you know, beha great behavior, create a safe and welcoming community and really encourage people to tell their stories so that they can find those communities of support.